was good, my boys? You know what I'm saying? We back with another one. And I love shoes. And if you love shoes, you're probably going to love this video. Because we're watching some of the craziest cleats that NFL players have worn throughout NFL history. And these are easily in my top three. I know you love sports if you're watching this video. So what better sports app is there other than Underdog Fantasy? Use code VIC when you sign up or just click the link in the description. Either way, you'll earn a .5 special. And you can use that to make up to 100 times your money in a single night. You'll get up to $250 in bonus money on top of a .5 special. These are fire. Literally. Ooh, These cleats are the most expensive in the world. For. With over 200,000. And those are only some of the craziest cleats mm. NFL players wore. These are designer cleats? I Maybe they're in the time. First, yeah. a player partnered with Buffalo Sauce. Wild Wings to create cleats for his nickname that he could eat. Ahmad Gardner? Uh, I mean, Did sauce, it? or at least that's what his chain Didn't say. Have a sauce with beat ups because he wanted to promote their food, secretly put in hours working there, and because he loved their sauces, they helped him design his own sauce. Some athletes just get a sneaker. I get a sauce. Perfect. But what does that have to do with cleats? Well, that sauce wasn't only for the meat he was putting in his mouth, it also went on his feet. Nigga, what you just say? You said, you said that? You said that. You said that. You said that. Got the honor to be working with Ahmad Sauce Gardner. We're gonna be painting with some flavor. We're gonna actually use some of Sauce Sauce in the paint. All right, and I ain't doing too much. You gonna have all these goddamn bugs in my shoes, man. Be hard though. What's actually dope about it is this is one of the first pairs painted with actual sauce in the paint. <laughs> Sauce's cleats were customized in black with sauce dripping all over them. And each shoe featured one of Sauce's diamond chains hanging from the laces that were even made with the real sauce. That's fine. Damn. Now that's some heat on his feet. But the rest of the cleats in this video get even more ridiculous. Like there's an NFL player who was so bro, he made cleats out of literal duct tape. There's even cleats a player wore that came from a video game. But before I tell you about those, let me show you the scariest cleats in NFL history. A lot of NFL players clearly have a weird obsession with horror movies. Starting with Gabe Davis, he wanted to show tributes to some scary white boys. This creepy clown looking ass main character from the movie Terrifier is something that keeps people up at night. So Gabe got dude painted on like his scary cleats. Movies, man. He was also inspired by the movie series Halloween because of its iconic killer Michael Myers, so we got cleats customized for him too. Now, Adam Thielen did a little bit more for his scary movie fetish. This is Pennywise. I actually do cuss a little. Do you? <laughs> also, What's yeah. What's your favorite curse word? Probably. Uh, yeah, that shit scared me, so I just had to traumatize you with it. Anyways, dude's one of the ugliest killers ever from the movie It, and not only did Adam literally show up to a game dressed as him, he clowned his own cleats by no, getting Pennywise no, on him. No, then, he dressed movie, as another bro. character too, the ghost face motherfucker from Scream, and also from the scary movie series. What's up? And then <laughs> turned his cleats into some perp with dude's face on him. Now, okay, I definitely respect what J.J. Watt turned his cleats into though, because I grew up watching the same movies. Freddy Krueger. This. I still want the Freddy Krueger dunks. Jason Voorhees. <laughs> These guys were so known for their movie scenes that they eventually got put into the same movie and battled each other. So JJ represented their rivalry in a Ooh. set of cleats with both of their faces. The colors on those are crazy. Yo. Something even crazier though is this guy. Do you want to play a game? That's not a face you ever want to wake up to. Jigsaw from the Saw movies is known to torture all of his victims with crazy games, which kind of reminds me of what Stefan Diggs does every week to his victims. I wonder why he got cleats of dude. The absolute craziest Halloween themed cleats a player wore though had to be Isaiah Rogers. Who? Cause his weren't only designed to be wrapped up like a mummy, they had an actual face Shoot, is tough. that glow. But not all players' cleats are crazy in a scary way. Oh my like, god. It shouldn't even be allowed to wear these next ugly things on a football field. I never thought that I'd see cleats like this dude. Dookie a nacho? Uh, speaking of nachos, let me take a bite real quick. All cause dude was an unknown player who literally got no playing time. He wanted to go viral somehow, so we started wearing cleats that belonged on a homeless man. First, Duke obviously liked the popular Converse shoe Chuck Taylors, cause he decided to take his all white cleats and literally tape them up to make his cleats look like the shoes. <laughs> now, I don't know if dude thought wearing these would make him the next Wiz Khalifa. Chuck Taylors. You know what I'm saying? We still here, baby. But the tape on Duke's feet was only gonna keep getting crazier. Cause after dude went viral, man showed up to practice wearing some house slippers. And he also loved Nike slides so much, he was always wearing cleats that looked like those on the field. That's hilarious. 
Duke's cleats made him more famous than his play on the field, so he kept getting more creative with blue versions, and just when I thought I'd seen it all, dude really stepped out <laughs> on some Gucci flip-flops. Speaking of designer though, right. what Drew Brees wore on his feet proved he was the NFL's biggest hype beast. Is it designer cleats? Is that Louis Vuitton? Louis, maybe Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Just taking a look at this dude, you probably expect him to wear cleats that look like something a dad would cut grass in, and most times he does. But one day, Brees wanted to randomly surprise everyone at training camp by wearing cleats a lot of people dreamed about having. Because at the time, everybody was hyped up about a collab that was taking over the world when popular designer brands Louis Vuitton and Supreme teamed up to create a red and white Shoppers. colorway of every single thing people could own. There were even hype beasts wrapping their cars in the brand, designing entire rooms with it, yeah. and even turning their mansions supreme really theme. So when special cleats were designed for football with the bottoms completely covered in gold, god damn, these custom cleats were some of the craziest eye and breeze ever saw. Them when he tough. put that shit on, cameras and his teammates couldn't stop looking at him. Saints training camp day three, quarterback competition. Number hold on, hold on, hold three. on. Three. Before we start, can we get a close up on my man's cleats right now? Look at the detail! Look at the detail! Now, I'm not even gonna lie. That was the first time I thought Drew Brees was cool. But Aaron Rodgers' cleats weren't just oh. crazy. They came from people being burned alive. That is a great. That might be the craziest reach I've ever heard in my entire life. Holy Jesus! Uh, to cover. Rogers was heartbroken when he heard about a tragedy near his hometown in California. Jeff, this fire is burning out of control. 24 hours after it started, people have died. Firefighters have been hurt. We just heard what sounded like an explosion in the distance, and a police officer told us it was propane tanks. That's another explosion. Rogers watched as a power line malfunction sparked a flame that lit up everything around. Mm -hmm. The fire ended up spreading over 150,000 acres of land, so people were literally driving through fire while seeing their town burn to the ground. Heavenly Father, please help us to be safe. So not That's only did this cost crazy. over $16 billion in damages, it became the most destructive fire in the state's history by killing over 85 people. Oh Rogers knew he had to do something to honor his home, especially the people that were lost. And that's when he hit up a famous designer to create some crazy cleats that would have the entire world aware of the tragedy. Now, I didn't even think a design like this was possible, but the cleats were literally created using flames. They were also designed as an outdoor camping vibe, with shoutouts to the location of the fire like Paradise Strong, as well as Cal Fire. So Rogers was lit when he got these. That's tough. So we wanted to do something unique and authentic to you and the story. Wow, you did a great job, man. Thanks, man. It's incredible. And of course, after he got him, he wore him to his next game. Aaron Rodgers making a big show of support for victims of the campfire tonight. That's right. Rodgers wore Kirk custom made cleats. Check them out. See. Reading Butte Strong and Paradise Strong during the Packers game against Washington. Damn. You gotta respect Rogers for dedicating cleats to something bigger than himself. Got to. But Justin Jefferson's cleats weren't something to be sad about. Cause not only were they crazy, they came straight out of a video game. He's always been busting people's asses in Madden. No! Oh! No, chat! He thought he was sweet, chat! Come on! Let me see those bro, in the chat! Bro. And lucky for him, he's become such a football star in the real world, it almost made his character unstoppable in the virtual world. His main motivation to nah, keep getting knockouts to up his Madden nope. rating to a legendary 99 overall so that he'd be awarded with some special gifts. And as Madden 24 was about to drop, he predicted what his rating would be. I think my Madden 24 overall rating should be a 99. And right after that, Madden made things official by granting Justin's wishes. He not only became the highest rated receiver in the game at that 99 overall, he became the highest rated receiver in Vikings history, passing their ex most legendary player Randy Moss, who had a 98 overall. This was a huge honor. So Justin even tweeted, y'all have no idea what it means to be a 99 in Madden. Since I was seven years old, I've been creating my own player making That's him 99. Fine. Now I don't have to. So now that Justin officially became an exclusive member of the 99 Club, Madden damn near turned into COD by sending him an exclusive care package with some goodies. A custom PS5, custom controller, a gold-plated trading card, and the best part, some custom cleats. Them All gold tough. with his initials, the 99 overall stamp, and to top it off, some crystal looking diamonds, these cleats had it all. So since Justin's already known for wearing diamonds in his mouth and around his neck on the field, of course he wore them to while out at practice. You already know what I got on my feet. 
the 99s. <laughs> and then you were in the first game of the year where you went God mode. The players don't always get cleats over something as innocent as a Madden obsession. Cause Stefan Diggs copped his cleats over a drug addiction. Stefan's addiction started right after making the NFL when he realized he couldn't go a single day without caffeine, especially from Starbucks. Really, coffee like dope to the people. Every day, same trades, in and out, in and out. And I be the one serving. And I don't blame him. Everything on their menu is good as f. I didn't have any idea. Ben the Don well skit known. in a He's gone viral for tweeting video. that his love for Starbucks is a forever thing. Then they tweeted back saying the love is equal forever and ever. He's posted pics of him at their headquarters where he captioned at his home. Even his jeweler admitted his love for Starbucks by revealing Stefan's new purchase of a diamond Starbucks chain that cost around five Starbucks drinks or $15,000. For Stefan, some days it's their coffee, the free promo and other days crazy. it's tea. You should actually pick up a mango black. I drink tea every day. I have to. It's my like, it's my coffee. <laughs> his obsession with Starbucks even followed him into game days with some custom cleats. Now and these were just his first cleats that not only had Starbucks logos all over them, everything about them was the brand's colors and they were designed to look like a cup of coffee ordered from their place. He also got a second pair made. This time a reddit out version, which is better in my opinion, tough. that he even wore during a game against the Seahawks in Seattle, ironically the city that the first ever Starbucks opened. Man's really proved he's a fiend for caffeine, even when he's on the green. But speaking of green, <coughs> not that. Odell Beckham's cleats cost a whole lot of it when he wore the most expensive in NFL, uh, no, scratch that. He wore the most expensive cleats in sports history. It ain't a surprise These that Odell customs, would do something bro. so ridiculous when he'd already worn cleats that matched a famous character. These, I remember this, this, this was, this was, yeah. Character in Batman movies, the Joker, and got dude's face put onto his cleats. Odell also did a little something for his foot game for Kanye West. And no, he didn't wear some ugly ass Yeezys like everybody else who thinks they're cool. We don't give a fuck! Nor did he copy the other NFL players who wore Yeezy cleats like DeAndre Hopkins and Von Miller. All of those Yeezys I mean, had nothing those on Odell taking inspiration from Kanye's album cover Graduation when he turned that artistic masterpiece into Sheesh. cleats. The crazy cleats that Odell's worn go on and on. I think it's obvious Odell Beckham has the best feet heat of all time. Man's worn ones that were dripping in bait. He's worn cleats from the future, uh, yeah. literally. They came straight out of the movie Back to the Future yeah. after Marty McFly wore the famous Air Mags. Our laces, all right. And Odell got those shoes yeah. designed in the cleats nobody else had ever worn in the game. Odell's even worn a baby blue and gold version of cleats that represented Drake. Drake? Now, at that point, <laughs> I had already thought that nobody could compete with what Odell wore on his feet. And then he set a world record. After Odell signed with the Rams and helped them make a playoff run to the point where they were just one win away from becoming champions, it was time for the proudest moment of Odell's life, and he wanted to make just as many headlines as the Super Bowl itself. So he had a shoe designer spend over 100 hours making cleats that were his team colors over python skin, they included Odell's logo on the tongue, and the Jeez. Nike swoosh was made of over 1500 white diamonds. So on the day of the big game, cameras caught Odell pre-gaming and making one-handed catches while rocking the most expensive cleats in history that cost over 200,000. Hey, I man. can't believe dude actually wore those on the field. But as expensive as they were, Odell Beckham was top two in the Candy Cleats and he wasn't too. 